This video is going to demonstrate two things. Firstly, a step-by-step -step of how to make Ukrainian pierogi recipe passed down to me and taught to me by my grandma. And secondly, it will demonstrate the role of preparing and eating foods together and how this can aid in nurturing health and healthy relationships. This video shows myself and a few of my friends preparing and eating these pierogies together. I chose this theme of commensality because I believe the personal significance of this recipe has shaped who I am today, the relationships surrounding me, and how I relate to food. Although my family is not strongly connected to and does not necessarily identify with Ukrainian culture, we are strongly connected to one another partially because of our connection to this Ukrainian recipe. I believe coming together as a family and friends to prepare food and eat together has helped my family promote present moments and nurture healthy relationships between all members. It has also allowed for family recipes like this one and cooking techniques to be taught and passed down from generation to generation. These are the ingredients that you'll need. Firstly, add three cups of flour to a large mixing bowl. Then add one teaspoon of salt and mix the dry ingredients together. Then in a separate bowl, start the wet ingredients. Add one cup of water, an eighth of a cup of oil, one teaspoon of the lemon juice as a substitution for the cream of tartar. Add half of one egg, whisked and divided. Then whisk all the wet ingredients together. Once you're done that, add the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and mix until it forms a dough. Add more flour if you need to and you can use your hands to mix it if it works better. Then boil some water and peel your potatoes to be used for the filling of the pierogies. Add the potatoes to boiling water and cook until they're pretty soft. Then for the filling, you're going to want to add one half cup of butter to a clean mixing bowl. Add a quarter cup of cream. And some salt and pepper to taste. This is optional, but we chose to add about one cup of cheese to the filling as well. Once your potatoes are cooked, remove the water and add them to the filling the cheese and then mash your filling together until it creates a smooth consistency. Should look something like this. Then flour your surface and bring out your dough and roll it until it's about one quarter of an inch thick. Then cut your dough into three by three inch squares. Then you're gonna want to add maybe about a teaspoon of filling to each of the pierogies. Fold them in half to make a triangle and use a fork to press the edges to seal it. Add the pierogies to boiling water, about five to seven pierogies per round, and leave them in there until they start floating and are completely cooked. Do this until you're done all of your pierogies, and then you can eat them.
Commensality or eating and drinking together is a social activity at its most basic. Commensality has been shown to create and enforce bonds and relationships which define our place in society. The topic of commensality and its role in human relationships and cultures will be further examined academically in the paper component of this assignment.